All right, got a couple problems. As you can see, I'm not using my normal camera. I don't have access to it right now. It's kind of a long story. Well, actually, it's not that long a story, but I'm not going to tell you. Mind your business. Also, my internet is not working right now for some reason. It just randomly stopped working one day. I got the technician to come over and he's like, it's something outside. We got to get another guy to go outside and fix it. So right now, I'm using the USB tether function on my Android phone, which is cool that I can do that, but it's about 10 times slower than my usual internet. And that's not an exaggeration. That's It's literally about 10 times slower. So I'm probably not even going to upload this video in widescreen or HD because the file size would be too big and it would literally take hours for it to upload and I don't feel like dealing with that. So sorry if that bothers you. But anyway, on to the real video. Now, I'm the type of person that really likes advice. I like good advice that makes me think and rethink what I'm doing in my life. I like practical advice, which can come in many forms, such as a novel like John Green's Paper Towns, which I would argue advises us to remember that people are more complicated than the convenient archetypes that we want to put them into. Like a word that you hear people say a lot now is hipster. And I don't really like that word because it kind of groups all of these completely different people into this one little category. And that's kind of unfair. But sometimes the advice is in the form of a simple quote or a lyric like, don't worry, be happy, which is probably my favorite quote of all time. The thing about advice and pretty much any other application of communication is that it's always subject to interpretation. Like I probably interpret the quote, don't worry, be happy a little bit different than you do. It sounds like it's advocating a lifestyle where that's just carefree and optimistic and just always content. And personally, I think that's a terrible way to live. I used to work in the nonfiction department of a library, so I've seen many books that claim to offer advice. And there's a significant class of advice that basically says ignore everything negative and just focus on the positive. They say things like, don't worry, don't regret, don't hold grudges, don't think about the past. And now you're thinking, well, that's probably good advice. But I disagree. Another good quote I've heard is that poor judgment leads to bad experiences, but bad experiences leads to good judgment. I mean, it's a good idea to avoid negative things as much as you can, but when they do inevitably happen, I feel like we should cling on to them and study them. That's how we become smart and effective people. Another popular quote that you see on the internet a lot is the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. And it's kind of a stupid quote because that's not the definition of insanity at all. And if it were, I think most people would be considered insane. But the advice that the quote is intending to give is on point. I hate when people say, don't regret. Regret is one of the most useful things that humans can do. It keeps us from doing stupid shit over and over again. Like, I regret spending all my money on fast food and beer last year, so as a result, I'm not going to do it again, hopefully. Don't get me wrong, though. It is possible to worry and regret too much. In general, I think this applies to things that we cannot change. Like, I can change my spending habits. I can do something about that. And even, like, world-scale issues, like world poverty, like, I can't single-handedly change that, but there are things that I can do to help. So I think that's something that's worth worrying about. But there are some things that I have no control over. Like if I get dumped by a girl and she moves on to another guy, usually there's not much that I could do about that. So I shouldn't worry about it so much or I should at least try. And I'm not saying you shouldn't care about things like that or that you shouldn't learn from things like that. What I'm saying is you should try not to lose sleep over things like that. But it seems to me that most of the time we can make changes based on our bad experiences. And sometimes we need to lose a little sleep in order to motivate ourselves to make those changes. And this is why I like the phrase, don't worry, be happy so much, because it seems like it's given us a choice, not necessarily between worrying and being happy, but between allowing our worries to limit our happiness and using the wisdom gained from bad experiences to increase our happiness. The second one's better. I think that's good advice.